Hello, uh, this is just a video on shadows. Um, so there, as there's, uh, as all things in Photoshop, uh, there's so many ways to create the same thing. Uh, so for me personally, I always look at the pictures and, and analyze the picture first and then see which way is the most efficient. Um, so I, I think uh, an image like this is very good uh, to practice, especially if you've never done shadows before. Uh, to practice how to create shadows um, so I mean there's a different ways uh, however this is the way I like um, in this case so there's a I'll create another video um, where you can create shadows with a brush um, so that's the next video coming up but for this let's look at this and and see how we can address or you know practice creating shadows so uh, we will be creating shadows using sh path and shapes um, and and then playing with Gaussian blur okay so uh, let's first um, let's go to object making sure that your Adobe Photoshop 2024 or the most up-to-date one so we're gonna go object selection tool and come over and create this shape here okay and command or control J to uh, duplicate and then select it again to make sure it's selected so you know it's selected if there's that little ring um, or outline around the shape okay so we're gonna go to window we're gonna open two things I'm gonna open paths I'll go to window again and then I'm gonna open shape so I have both path and shape um, on here okay so now that I, I still have it selected I'm gonna go ahead, go to path, go to this target um, button here, icon here, to make that selection into a path. So I'm gonna click that. Okay, so now you know it's a path because it's all these points are has been created. That now that's been created, I'm going to edit, define custom shape, and I'm gonna name this star six. As you can see, I have lots of stars in there already. Um, so your might be star one or whatever you think you'll remember this with Okay, so now that I created that um, And go ahead and just move this down so I can see the shape So I'm going to hold on to the shape and drag it onto my canvas here and just place it slightly over uh, That's too much. So right there and I'm gonna use the arrow to move it down slowly um, so arrow on your keyboard can move it down slightly because sometimes it snaps when you use your mouse or your um, trackpad. Okay, I like it there. I'm going to click OK. So your property should be up. If not, click on properties uh, under appearance or I'm just going to click this. So under appearance, um, select this. And you can't see it, but on your right side, here, let, let me let me do this so you can see it. So click this. So right here, click on that icon to select the color. So we want to sample the board because we want a similar brown. If you can see, the shadows is not slightly black, right? It's like a dark brown. So I'm going to go ahead and go to a dark brown. Or I could even select that right, to tell me there. Um, it's a dark brown. Click anywhere to close that. And you see stroke. There's still a outline. I don't want any outlines. So I'm going to click no and click there. Okay, so now we've created the shape. Let's um, close it all so you don't see it anymore. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to drag that shape underneath the star so name the top layer star okay um, just to be organized for workflow so click that and click this put it in a folder and name this star shadow okay um, so that's your star and that's the shadow okay so now I, I'm going to go ahead and make Gaussian blur filter Blur, Gaussian Blur, Convert to Smart Object. 
Okay, so here uh, we're just looking for a little small definition, and if you see, still see the shape definition, but then a blur, right? So I think I like that. If not, I think I'm gonna go a little higher to 26. I like even numbers, so I'm just gonna do 26, click OK, and it's gonna. Um, it'll ask to convert smart filters and say yes, okay? And then, because if it's converted to smart filter, you can easily go back and address the Gaussian blur again if you don't like the effect. Okay, so I think I'm gonna like I like that. I'm gonna create a solid color just so I can see what I created. So okay, let's do that again. I'm going to this icon here, click solid color. I'm gonna create adjustment layer. Um, Click anything for now. Hide, hide that. Double click again. Sample this. Click OK. And then reveal it again. Okay. I, I think I like that, but maybe I want a little bit more blurry. So I'm going to click on Gloves and Blur. Make it slightly blurry. Maybe 40. Mm, let's try 50. There. I think I, I'll stick to that. Um, and then um, I think I like it just as, as that but I think if you had spillage or anything that coming out on this side um, I would put a mask right get your brush and make sure it's black all right if it's not black click on it and make sure it's black and then just clean this area make sure you're blocking the shadows from spilling over to the side okay um, let's hide that okay so I think I'm happy with that one um, let's go to the folder and close that and create a second another one so over here it's more defined than this so let's do that again so object selection tool quickly select that oops i'm on the wrong layer so let's make sure we select that click that a command or control j to duplicate okay gonna name that star but on the right side okay um select that again windows okay right here click on selection go over to edit uh, define custom shape and go star half okay click OK go to windows bring the shapes uh, menu out and drag this over here and if you see it's just slightly uh, over to the right and then up so I'm going to use the arrow on the keyboard to slowly move right up so this image this actually is a really great image to practice uh, drop shadows click OK so again before I click OK uh, make sure the parents oh done here parents um, again I want to sample this one here. Um, let's sample the color again. So I sample this. Click OK. Uh, click anywhere here. Click on stroke. No stroke. I don't want any outline. Um, back to layers now. I, uh, so we're going to move that star over there. And go back to the shadows okay click on this layer and click on top layer create a group call it star right shadows okay we're gonna come back to the shadow one which is here and again a filter blur Gaussian blur Convert, yes. Um, 
I don't want that extreme shadow because if you recall that shadow is just slightly is quite defined so we can click OK okay um, so uh, I don't really like the color so I'm gonna hide that go to smart filter well actually I'm gonna sample that color before I do that I'm gonna go up here sample this shadow um, this number here we're gonna copy that number uh, command or control C to copy click OK um, let's turn that back on double click on that go to properties and then we're gonna fill that um, so properties click on fill click on this uh, selection or color picker and right here we are gonna highlight it command or control V to paste okay so click anyway there um, and then close and save there you go it's a darker um, shadows okay so again I'm gonna drag this up Yeah, and then now um, I dragged it up over the solid color that we created. I turned it back on so I can s isolate that shadow. So I, I think I like that shadow, but might want a little bit more blur to it. So I'm going to go to the Gaussian Blur, double click. Yeah, so maybe around 21. Click OK. Uh, and this is a benefit of smart object you can always go back and edit the gaussian blur etc uh, but personally i don't like gaussian blur i, I mean i don't like the uh, smart objects um, but if i can avoid it i avoid it but if i don't um, this is a very good way for non-destructive and repeating editing so you can always go back and re-edit and re-edit okay and modify so I think I'm happy here. So continue playing this on your own uh, with a similar technique. Um, I think it's nice here. Here I wouldn't do a shape, but I'll just do a round brush. Um, here, because you can see the shape, I'll do a shape. I, I would do a shape with this one too. Okay, so this is a really good just starter image um, to practice. Uh, creating shadows or realistic shadows because you have a reference you can always reference the shadows uh, and try to mimic it until you're very good at it and you don't need a reference anymore um, i would create an I, i'm going to create another video that uh, shows a different way um, to create a shadow especially uh, using a brush tool okay so have fun